Crenshaw first gained national attention by playing John Lennon in Beatlemania. From there, he was chosen to play Buddy Holly in the movie Bomba. All right, Richie, now here's the situation. I heard how you felt about flying. I didn't think you want to know about this airplane stuff. It's between Tommy and you now. I'm going to toss this coin. Whoever wins is going to ride on this plane sleep in a warm bed tonight. To me, it's just kind of a funny, off-the-wall thing that I've played both of those guys. I didn't really purposely go out and try to make it happen. It just sort of happened. Crenshaw had no desire, however, to become a movie star. Rock and roll, that's where his heart was. And in 1986, he rocked onto the charts with his first hit, Someday, Someway. Someday, someway. Unlike many pop musicians, Crenshaw did not get his start from listening to rock and roll music. In fact, it all started right at home with his father's influence. I guess the first big influence on me musically was my dad. I got a lot of my musical taste from him. He was always into sort of rootsy American music, and he still is, you know. Like, I'll go over to his house and he'll... One time I went over to visit him and he was playing this record by Emmy Lou Harris called Two More Bottles of Wine. And then he had this other one, um, Hello Mary Lou by Ricky Nelson which has this guitar solo on it. And he was like playing this record for me. And he's going, I'm like, why can't you play something like that? You know, and he's going, listen to that guitar. So uh, <laughs> I was influenced by him. In Marshall's new LP, Good Evening, he has performed songs written by John Hyatt, the Isley Brothers, and Richard Thompson, and brought together musicians such as Kenny Aronoff, who was John Cougar Mellencamp's drummer, bassist Graham May from Joe Jackson's band, and the Bodines. With these combined efforts, Good Evening shows strength in areas that span the spectrum of the FM dial. I want to talk to my 